Hello and welcome to North Penn News. I'm Melissa Croak. And I'm Sarah Conant. Leading off today, the President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton, recently visited Montgomery County, and 94 North Penn students had the rare opportunity to be at his post-State of the Union address. Over 5,500 people packed into Norristown Area High School's gymnasium to catch a glimpse of the President, First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton, Vice President Al Gore, and his wife Tipper Gore. They each spoke to the pep rally-like crowd about the importance of educational reform, protecting Social Security for the future, and working together as a nation. It's really interesting getting the experience of seeing the President firsthand. I think that's an experience that's probably once in a lifetime for most people, and to be able to see him at, see him in such an influ like at an age where he kept such an influence on me, I thought was very important to me. I thought that even though he gave credit to the baby boomers and what a great job they did, that he's putting more emphasis on the youth of America and how bettering our education is going to make the future of America that much better. But it was important to me because when I grow up, I want to be a social studies teacher, and government and politics is specifically what interests me. So I thought that it'd be a good experience and something to tell, like, in the far future and near future, and it'd just be a great experience. The majority of the students chosen to attend the event were from the Student Government Association and media organizations. Others were chosen by a random lottery. To top off an unforgettable experience, some students were even able to shake hands with the president. North Penn High School recently received a visit from Happy Valley. North Penn News reporter Kyle Berger has the story. A legend among the ranks of college football recently paid a visit to North Penn High School. Penn State football coach Joe Paterno stopped by North Penn High School on his way to the Philadelphia Sports Writers Banquet. A press conference was held where Paterno discussed Penn State football. Upon entering North Penn High School, Joe Pa was amazed with the facilities. Penn, it's just amazing how, how it's grown. It keeps growing, getting bigger and bigger the whole area all the time. But I, you, you've got to be impressed with the, with the people that are involved in it, administrators, because Coach Patton's got to be, you know, you guys have got to be ecstatic over having somebody his quality here and what he's done here. So I, uh, it's, 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 it's really uh, impressive. North Penn senior Dave Coslow is expected to sign next week to play for Paterno next year in Happy Valley. The All-American lineman is anxiously awaiting the opportunity to play in front of over 90,000 fans in State College. Yeah, well, I mean, definitely the, the academics there are outstanding. The football program is always competitive. Uh, you know, the social life there is real good too. So, and you know, and the, they do their they do things right there. You know, with the recruiting, everything they do, they do it by the book. You know, they don't, there's no violations, so you never have to worry about things like that. Where do you see yourself eight months from now as uh, camp opens out there? Uh, I, I, I'd like to be down there playing, but uh, that's all in the future. We'll see. I mean, it's going to depend on how hard I work and what they need there on the field. So, you know, I could, you know, I could be on the sidelines. You know, maybe I'll be on the field. But we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. For North Penn News, I'm Kyle Berger. <laughs> Thursday was a special day in the history of Knapp Elementary School with the opening of its new library. We open our library, our library here at Knapp Elementary School. Kelly Franklin has the scissors. A lot of pictures are being taken. The ribbon is being cut as we speak. were highlighted by visited, visits from two authors, Dan Gutman and Kay Winters, who spoke to the students, explaining what it takes to be an author. Some students had a chance to eat lunch with the authors and ask them questions. The six-month-long project has turned out to be a success for all of NAP students. Walton Farm was recently joined by Mark Kobaz, the school's artist-in-residence. Mark will be working with the students from January until March to produce permanent works of art to decorate the school. Grades K through 3 will create a collage of wooden buildings to be displayed in the library, while grades 4 through 6 will work with glass panels to be displayed in the school lobby. The works of art will be unveiled at Walton Farm's art show in mid-April. At their recent prime time, the students of General Nash Elementary learned about the history of the school's name. Fifth and sixth grade gifted students wrote and performed their original play, Tales of Talmensen, to a packed house. The play centers on the life and times of General Francis Nash, who was killed in the Battle of Germantown. The atmosphere was enhanced by an authentic revolutionary tent and flute playing by the students. The play proved a historical insight to the Talmensen area. 
March Madness will return to the North Penn High School, the North Penn School District during the eighth annual fifth grade basketball tournament. This year's games will be held at Gwendolyn Elementary School from March 1st through the 30th. Teachers interested in starting their own team should contact either Chris Sylvester at Oak Park or Kathy Rhodes at Gwenor. Course selection for the 1999-2000 school year begins in early February with these very important dates. February 2nd is Pendale's incoming 9th grade parent course selection night at 7 p.m. Penbrook's incoming 8th and 9th grade parent co course information night will also be held on February 2nd at 7.30 p.m. February 4th will be North Penn High School's course selection night for parents at 7.30 p.m. and Penfield will be holding their incoming 8th and 9th grade parent course selection night on February 11th at 7 p.m. All of these meetings will be held in the school's auditoriums. Pendale's 7th grade class traveled to New York City recently to view a performance of A Christmas Carol at Madison Square Garden. This was a culminating activity to the reading the classic Dickens short story in English class. Despite the bad weather conditions, the North Penn High School construction crews are still hard at work. Several days of snow and rain did not prevent the workers from continuing exterior work. Even though the area has become a deep mud pit, crews continue to move supplies around the site. The work on the interior is right on schedule. A maze of scaffolding has been erected inside to allow workers to reach the high ceilings and walls in the addition. Crews will continue to work throughout the winter months to get the project completed on time. Stay with us. We'll be right back with scholarship information and more North Penn news right after the break. Over two million acres of our wildlands burn each year, and hundreds of homes are lost as a result. At least 50 homes were burned to the ground. Dozens more were damaged as fires raced through dense brush and steep canyons. Flames don't know the difference between forest, rangelands, and homes. Learn how you can fireproof your home. For more information, contact your local fire protection agency, state forestry office, or the USDA Forest Service. Let's use this piñata to show why kids under 12 don't belong in the front seat. Hey, that piñata looks like me. Really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> hey, look, Vince. Candy. Yeah. All jawbreakers. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your kids in the back seat. We can end prejudice if we talk. Talk. Talk to each other. Call. Tell us what you would do. Together we can build one America. <laughs> Welcome back to North Bend News. Several scholarships are now due in the Future Plan Center. In February, the Keystone Farm Credit Scholarship for Seniors is due on February 1st. Also on February 1st, the Pennsylvania Association of Educational Secretaries and Office Personnel Scholarship for Seniors is due. The Pennsylvania Governor's School for Health Care, Teaching, and Agriculture applications are due on February 3rd. There are also many scholarships due in late February and March. Please see Mrs. Toyota Keller for applications and more information. As the cold winter months press on, don't forget to tune your television to Channel 16 for up-to-the-minute information about closing, delays, and cancellations due to inclement weather. You can also call the Informaphone at 215-368-7663 or tune to WMPV and listen for school code 303. There will be an exit counseling session for any retiring school district employees on Thursday, April 22nd at 4.30 p.m. in their Educational Services Center. PSERS representatives will conduct the session. The Human Resources Department will need to know if you are planning on attending this session. If you plan to participate, please call the Human Resources Department at 368-9800, extension 218, by April 9th to reserve your space. The North Penn School District Community Education Program is looking for a secretary to work two nights a week starting Monday, March 1st. Responsibilities include helping community education teachers and students, taking late registrations, directing students to classrooms, photocopying, and addressing any problems that may arise. The application deadline for the position is February 5th. Please call Christine Lebarski at 368-0400, extension 208, for more information. The North Penn School Board will be holding its monthly work session on Tuesday, February 9th, and the monthly action agenda will be held on Thursday, February 18th. Both of these meetings begin at 7.30 p.m. in the Educational Services Center. 
A reminder for all North Penn School District residents, due to the two snow closings this month, the marking period for all students will end Friday, January 29th, instead of Wednesday, January 27th, as scheduled. And finally, to all North Penn secondary students and parents, if you have not yet returned the Internet User Agreement form, the North Penn School District is asking that they be returned as soon as possible. The policies were sent home in the fall with a self-addressed stamped return envelope. If you did not receive one or have misplaced it, please contact the North Penn Technology Department at 368-9800, extension 213, for another copy. Well, that is it for this edition of North Penn News. For the entire North Penn News team, I'm Melissa Croak. And I'm Sarah Khan at Sports Night with Kyle Berger is up next. Stay tuned.